Did you know that the origins of Lazetown date back to Iceland in 1991? World-class athlete Magnus Shevings realized that there were no role models for health that kids could look up to. In response to this, Shevings wrote a book that would encourage kids to be active and give them the role model that they needed. The book was titled Afram Late Bar, which translates to Go Go Lazy Town. The story revolves around the village of Lazy Town participating in a sports competition, but the kids are too out of shape and unmotivated to compete, so the mayor requests the help of the athletic elf Sporticus to get the town to participate. This version of Lazy Town was very different from the 2004 series. For one, Sporticus was an elf instead of a slightly above average superhero. Also, all characters had Icelandic inspired names, such as Stephanie being known as Sola the Stiff and Pixel being Goji Mega. The book was well received and prompted sequel books as well as a stage play adaptation in 1996. This play saw live actors perform these characters with Sheving himself playing Sporticus. A second stage play adaptation was created in 1999 based on the book Latebar in Vandrayum, which was the first live appearance of the character Glani Gleiper, otherwise known as Robbie Rotten who is portrayed by Stefan Carl Stephenson. In 2002, a TV pilot was created which solidified many things for the show. The series was given its official title of Lazy Town, all characters were given English names, puppets were starting to be used, and Sporticus was now a superhero rather than an elf. Nickelodeon picked up the pilot in 2003 and commissioned a first season of 34 episodes. The character Stephanie has been portrayed by several actors since the franchise started. In season 1 and 2 of the series, she was portrayed by Juliana Rose Mugliero, who eventually aged out of the role and was replaced by Chloe Lang in seasons 3 and 4. The unaired pilot had her played by Shelby Young, who had to back out of the role due to a conflict of interest. And in the stage plays where she was known as Sola, she was played by Selma Bjornsson Thorthir and Linda Asig Thorthir. So since Stephanie's first live appearance, she has gone through a total of 5 actors. This is interesting as both Shevings and Stevenson remained their respective characters for the entirety of Lazy Town. It is commonly thought that because of his athletic background, Sheving does all of Sporticus' stunts, while in actuality, several stunt doubles are used throughout the series, some of whom would go on to do stunts for films like Star Wars and Spider-Man. While stunt doubles are used, Sheving has confirmed in an interview that at least in season 1, he was doing a majority of the stunts himself. He is very proud to have stunt doubles for some of the work as it can get very tiring. Lazy Town's music was composed by Monty Saverson. Saverson has been working with Shevings since before Lazy Town was a thing. Shevings competed in athletic competitions and he would provide music for his aerobic routines. Saverson's first contribution to the series was for a now rare CD released with Afram Latiba, and since then he's provided music for every project. Some of the music for the two stage plays was actually repurposed for the series. For example, the opening song Welcome to Lazy Town was used as Sporticus' introduction song in the play. You meet Robbie with this rotten plan and Sporticus saving the day. <laughs> this music has played a part in modern meme culture, inspiring the creation of some popular memes. An example is Cooking by the Book, a little bigger mix, uploaded by the user Hat Person. This is a remix of the song, Cooking by the Book, that samples audio from the Snoop Dogg song, Step Yo Gamer. The remix was uploaded October 1st, 2008 and has amassed over 10 million views in over 10 years. But by far the most popular Lazy Town meme was We Are Number One. In September of 2016, SoundCloud user NBG posted a track titled, When Montage Parodies Died a Long Time Ago But You Can't Let Go of the Past, which was a remix of the song, We Are Number One, with various memes thrown in. This is a certified hood classic. This remix gained popularity and prompted others to remix the song. The meme really took off the next month when it was announced that Stefan Caro had developed bile duct cancer. Members of the Lazy Town crew, most notably head writer Mark Falnetti, banded together and started a GoFundMe to cover his living expenses while he was recovering. In response to this, fans created several remixes of the song and linked back to the GoFundMe page. In just two months, the GoFundMe raised over $90,000 of the $100,000 that was requested, and it would eventually reach and exceed its goal with the final total being $169,670. In a Reddit AMA, Stevenson acknowledged the meme and was very impressed by the creation of the fans. 
As thanks, Stefson did a Facebook Live reenactment of We Are Number One with the accompanying actors, Bjorn Thors, Snowy Ingelbertsen, and Berger Thor Ingolson. Following the live event, the stems for the song were posted online, which revealed some rejected lyrics. Just sneak about with graceful skill, and now stand absolutely still. Be very, 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 very careful. Don't touch a thing. You'll never know the problems it could bring. The stems being released led to the fans being more creative with the remixes. Thanks to the GoFundMe, Stefan was able to extend his life that much longer. However, in March of 2018, the cancer returned, and after deciding to discontinue chemotherapy, Stefan passed away on August 21st, 2018, at the age of 43. Per his wishes, no funeral was held and his remains were scattered in secrecy. To honor his contribution to the arts, the Stefan Carl Academy and Center for Performing Arts began construction with the intent to launch in 2019. A fan petition was even started to have a statue of Stefansson placed in his hometown of Hafnafjordish, and as of the recording of this video, the petition has over half a million signatures. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon to stay notified whenever I upload a video. Hey guys, Ben here. Lazy Town was one of those Nick Jr. shows that I absolutely loved growing up, and researching its history was actually pretty interesting. I want to apologize for all the mispronounced Icelandic names I said, I tried to pronounce them the best I could. For anyone who's interested, they are linked in the description to all the sources I used to research this video.